Hello, I'm Greg Uland, Marketing Director at Reynolds & Reynolds, and this is Connected, the podcast with best practices and ideas to help navigate what is happening in the automotive retail industry in the world today. As the COVID-19 virus continues to change our world and how we live and work daily, this podcast discusses ways to continue operating in this unprecedented social environment. On today's episode, we have with us Ryan Zwornemann, Sales Director at Naked Line Marketing. Ryan, thanks uh, thanks so much for hopping on. Hey, thanks for having me, Greg. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm, I'm glad you could join. Ryan, before we get uh, started today, I, I do want to let everybody know uh, that starting next week, uh, the week of May 4th, we're going to shift from a daily cadence on podcast episodes to a weekly cadence. So uh, starting next week, Wednesdays will be the day that we release new podcasts. So the next one will be Wednesday, May 6th. Uh, additionally, if you want to continue receiving email updates when new episodes are released, please go to rayray.com slash connected. That's where all past episodes are located. And then at the bottom of the page, you can also sign up to continue receiving email updates for new episodes. Uh, Ryan, thanks for uh, letting me get that out there for everybody to give them a heads up. Uh, but to dive into our conversation, um, you know, I want to look towards a, a hopeful recovery here in the, in the future. Um, and I'm interested to get your perspective on what that looks like. Is it a fast recovery? Is it slow? Um, are there too many unknowns to really tell right now? What do you think? I mean, there's, there's certainly a lot of unknowns right now. I think we would all agree with that. So any, predict- any prediction we make, it's going to um, end up based on what's happening, right? Or what does happen. But the one thing we can do is we can look back at history and we can see some very distinct patterns. One of those patterns is the auto industry has always followed the stock market very closely. When the stock market's going up, vehicle sales are good. When the stock market's going down, vehicle sales are down. It's it's pretty important to note though that this is not necessarily the same for other economic indicators. The overall performance of the stock market has been the trend line that the auto industry has always trailed very closely. And, And why is that, do you think? I mean, what makes that correlation so tight? Yeah, I mean, you, first you got to look at what the stock market actually is, right? It's it's um, it's predicting future valuations of companies, and so at its core, um, that's what investors do. When the stock market's going up, confidence in in the relatively short term future is high, and that's very similar to consumers predicting what they can afford in the future, and that goes for lease, finance, and even cash deals. So you know, it's Americans asking themselves, how much am I willing? Um, or how much risk am I willing to take for my future self? Um, While in this situation, we're, you know, we're hurting a lot and Americans are hurting a lot in a lot of ways. Um, But current stock market trends indicate that there's, there's confidence that it's going to be a fairly short lived situation, right? So the stock market fall was fast and hard. Um, April's seen a, a rebound though. And so it's, it's been fairly volatile, but it has been steadily increasing. Yeah, it has. It has. Um, so what does this look like then for dealers on the other side coming out and, uh, and looking towards that kind of rebound? Yeah. So, so again, we have to look at history. Uh, there's going to be a large spike in the demand immediately coming out of this. Uh, the first month, you'll likely see a big rebound. Uh, we saw it in 1991, 2001, and 2009. Uh, you know, then we'll probably level back off and see a climb that'll track pretty close to the stock market. Uh, until we reach um, a sustainable level again. Uh, That could be 17 million vehicles, and honestly, it could be more. Uh, One of the lasting effects of of this could be a decrease in the use of public transportation and shared vehicles. Um, Does that lead to increased personal vehicle ownership? Possibly. But going back to the spike, as the economy opens back up, dealers need to take advantage of it in that month, um, because how they perform then will set them up for success going forward. Yeah, it definitely will. Um, so any, any tips or advice on how to do that, right? How does a dealer tactically go out and make sure they're set up for success? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, first and foremost, we're, we're in, an, in a, a different kind of position here where that spike will probably be compounded by the fact that we've been told to stay at home, right? And so things are, are definitely looking different in, in our layout in America, but every dealership and market is different. Um, demand certainly won't be evenly distributed across the country, across states, or even across towns for that matter. Uh, It's not going to be an even playing field. Some dealers will just be in a better position due to geography. Knowing that, every dealer needs to carefully analyze their market and possibly redefine their market. And that's uh, in an effort to put themselves in a position to capitalize on a spike in demand. Um, Many will need to pick new areas to advertise aggressively. Uh, Many may need to get better understanding um, 
the possibility of shipping and delivery and learn to do it in the most efficient and cost effective way possible. So it's definitely a time to figure out um, what your market is and what the market needs are and then go supply it. Yeah, very good, very good points. Um, Ryan, I definitely appreciate you taking some time to, to hop on and talk about this and, and hopefully it will be a, a speedy recovery. Uh, but while we're, while we're here, while we have the audience and before we hop off, is there anything else that you want to touch on or anything else you want to share? Yeah, I, I think the last thing I'd emphasize is I really, really encourage dealers to put a plan together now. Um, keep a very close pulse on when demand is returning. You know, once it goes, it'll peak quickly and there won't be time to react without missing a lot of opportunity. After that first spike could be a grind. Uh, so take advantage of the opportunity today and, and make sure you don't miss out. Great. Well, Ryan, thank you. Uh, thank you again for, for hopping on. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Absolutely. This has been Connected. Stay safe, and we'll see you on the next episode.